We know we have to clean some things up so we can win and not take years off my life. The Las Vegas Raiders hit the road week eight off to Detroit for some Monday night football action. Both teams coming in off losses. Neither the kind either team feels good about. We didn't do anything well enough to to deserve to win. Those guys, they, they played well. They kicked their ass. Detroit lost 38-6 to to Baltimore last week. Vegas lost 30-12 to to Chicago. We need to find some consistency in all three phases. The Raiders can hope Jimmy Garoppolo returns. Not that he sparkled this year, but he's their starter and he sat out last week hurt. I know I'm hoping for this week, but I don't have clarification on that yet. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. At this point, though, what Vegas really needs this week, regardless of who takes snaps, is a breakout game from Josh Jacobs. Another carry for Jacobs, spinning off a tackle. Jacobs keeps those legs moving and gets the chains moving. That run right there, one of the few good ones Jacobs ripped off last week, one of the few good ones he's ripped off all year. Jacobs finished yet another game under four yards per carry last week. That's now seven straight he's been under four. Toss, Jacobs oh. in trouble, down he goes! We lost control of the, of the line of scrimmage and then we got him kind of, you know, playing the game backwards. In turn, Vegas' offense continues to struggle. So what are the chances he breaks out versus the Lions? When you check their body of work, not good. Holding running backs to 3.6 a run, only five teams stingier versus backs. Hands to Dylan, hit in the backfield, take it down for a loss. Oh my goodness. If you're looking for a silver and black lining of hope though, Part of Detroit's defensive unraveling last week was tied to their inability to stop the running back duo of Gus Edwards and Justice Hill. They gave up 110 yards to them on just 18 carries. Here is Edwards, and that'll get the first down and then some. Big still going, it's Edwards, my goodness. Here's Hill, right side again, and again, big results, Hill. If Detroit plays Jacobs on the tough side, though, that puts all the pressure back on the Vegas passing game. Jimmy G himself, more INTs than TDs right now. Now, if he's not back, it's either Brian Hoyer or Rodney Farva. Hoyer only managed 129 yards versus the Bears, two picks, a rating under 40. When your starter is not available, you know, you're trying to make what you think is the best decision for the team. Hoyer's long pass of the day is 15 yards, and it's intercepted, picked off by Jalen Johnson. Johnson, untouched for the touchdown. Uh, I'm not going to second guess, it, guess that. I don't want a large. I want a leader of cola. And Vegas wants more points. Score more points, obviously. Lions defense faces a Raiders offense with a high of 21 this season. Devontae Adams catching more tacos than balls lately. 57 yards last week, under 60 yards, three straight games now. Pressure coming, Hoyer jumps it for Adams, off his fingertips and incomplete. Jacoby Myers pulled in the one lone Vegas touchdown. O'Connell, catch, touchdown, Jacoby Myers. And O'Connell able to lead the Raiders to a late touchdown. Myers and Adams, 25 of Vegas's 45 targets last week. Could that struggling group get right versus Detroit? Lions got torched through the air by Lamar Jackson last week. Lamar beat us. Uh, he hammered us with his arm. It was ugly, unless you were Lamar Jackson. Detroit gave up over 13 yards per attempt to him, over 350 yards, a rating above 155. That's not perfect, but it's close. Fourth and one, a fake. Jackson, room, first down, touchdown! Lions didn't sack Jackson once. Aiden Hutchinson has gone back-to-back -back games without a bag now. Jackson can't find anyone. Looking to take off and run. Bounces away. Still surveying. Still alive. Throw it in. Don't caught for the touchdown! So their pass rush, another area they're hoping to correct week over week. Same holds true for their offense, which like Vegas, really needs its run game to shine, because when it's working, the Lions' O face is just different. Let's go complimentary football, folks. When you go three and out, uh, your first two series, and then they, they gain 14 points in your first two, that, that's, a, that's a hard recipe there, you know, early in the game. David Montgomery out last week, he's their workhorse, but even if he's missing again, Lions have Jameer Gibbs. He gave him 68 yards and a TD on 6.2 a carry when he finally got some work in after the game was kind of over. Gibbs on the pitch, has some room, Jameer Gibbs, no one touches him, he's in for six. So Montgomery or not, it would behoove Detroit to crank the Gibbs volume up a little, because not only will it benefit Goff, but Vegas' defense could not stop the run at all versus the Bears, allowed over 170 rushing yards on over 4.5 a carry, two touchdowns.
Agent the give to Foreman. Foreman plowing into the end zone for a Chicago touchdown. Let's go, boys. Moving together now. If they don't shore things up along the ground, it increases the odds Goff gets back on track. Yeah, it was uh, no fun, and we got to respond the right way. He comes in cold, no TD passes, one pick, only 5.4 yards per attempt, a rating under 70. Goff throws downfield, it is going to be picked off by the Ravens. I don't think Jamo and Goff are on the same page there, because that was not real close. Detroit's offense not used to that kind of play from him, not used to only scoring six points. God, we fight though, man. Question is, can Vegas bother Goff as often as Baltimore did? He took five sacks. He's not used to getting beat up like that. Blitz coming. Goff in trouble and he's sacked. Mad Max Crosby, a sack last week, not five, but he's the one guy you can expect to meet up with Goff, just a matter of how often. Bajan, pressure coming, in some trouble, down he goes! Max Crosby got him! The Raiders' secondary Goff faces gave up a rate close to 100 to rookie Tyson Bajan. Bajan has to run. Bajan gonna coast out of bounds Ooh. for the first down. Oh! Oh, and Bajan wants some roars! Lions receivers all fared okay versus Baltimore on paper. Amon Ross St. Brown pulled in over 100 yards week seven. Fourth and four, Goff. First down, St. Brown. Gibbs also had 58 receiving yards. Tight end Sam Laporta over 50 as well. Get it out to a screen to Gibbs. Has blocking. Tamir Gibbs. First down, Gibbs. Still going. Raiders pass defense does have potential to keep things close. They get a rush from Crosby. They have held quarterbacks to a 90.8 rating in 2023. That's respectable. Shotgun snap to Bajan. Raiders rush four, trying to set up the screen. The pass incomplete. Lions have lost to the Ravens and Seahawks, both teams over 500. We've been through a whole lot worse than this. So this is kind of our first taste of getting kicked in the teeth this year. The shame would be if we don't use this to get better for next week, and it bleeds over into the Raiders. That, that would be the ultimate shame. Raiders three wins, all versus teams under 500. I have to figure out something. We have to figure out something as a staff, as a team, uh, to try to be able to be more productive. Um, you know, more disruptive, more productive on offense, score more points, obviously. What does this mess all mean? This is one of those years, a lot of muck to sift through. Sift through it and let everyone know who wins the game and why in the comments section. Let's see what the panel of 10 thinks.